What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And today I want to talk about this game and kind of should you be playing it in 2020. This game of course has been out for a while. It was kind of a rough start, kind of a rocky start. But over the last uh, year or so, this game has really improved. It has become a game, uh, it's starting to become a game that people are really getting back into. Uh, it kind of reminds me of how Rainbow Six Siege was handled where it was kind of rocky to begin with. And over the years, the more things they have done, done to the game, the more improvements they have made, it's really brought a lot of the player base back and gained a lot of new players. I would not say it's as popular player base wise as Rainbow Six Siege is, but I would definitely say this game has gained more players than it has lost in the last year or so. Now, I have not played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, in the last several months. I really stopped playing back uh, in the fall or last fall in 2019 when Call of Duty came out. I kind of stepped away from playing. I was playing a lot last year, a lot last summer, playing a lot of Battlefront 2. And there's been a lot of changes even since then, since I have played in the last several months. Uh, one of the biggest changes, of course, Age of the Rebellion was one of the newest updates that was just released. It was one of the biggest updates EA and DICE has ever released, and it was also probably one of the best updates they ever released in the game, in my opinion. There's tons of new content. There's also new weapons for each class. There's one new weapon for each individual class, which I think is one of the things that kind of held the game back. A lot of people felt like there was not enough to grind for. Adding a new weapon for each class was a good idea. I hope they continue this trend if they're going to continue to leave this game out for a while. Because I feel like new weapons, new things to unlock is what a lot of people grind for. And that was always one of the issues with Battlefront uh, 1 and, of course, Battlefront 2 over the last several years. I always felt that Battlefront 2 was a little bit better polished game than Battlefront 1 was. Uh, and now that all these improvements have been made, like I said, new weapons for each characters, uh, for each class, new heroes and villains, new maps and reinforcements have been added over the last several updates. The servers are still full. So there's a lot of things going in the right direction still for this game. And it's crazy to think, once again, kind of like I said about Rainbow Six Siege, a game that's been out for several years is still kind of gaining this much momentum going forward. It does have some bugs. Of course, all games have bugs. All games have issues this day and age. You cannot have a game now that has an update that doesn't bring some new things that cause problems within the game. If you look at Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that is one big example. Every time they have an update, it seems like it brings a new bug to the game that has to be fixed. And that can be said for everything. That's every game, in my opinion, that is released this day and age. Another reason I think it's a good game to start playing in 2020, there's not a lot coming out this year. Of course, a lot of developers are waiting for new consoles to be released this fall. So this is a very fun, entertaining game to play, in my opinion. It's something you can definitely come in and spend a lot of hours on playing and really enjoying yourself, especially if you're a big Star Wars fan, because you're still immersed in that Star Wars universe while playing. Whether you play co-op, which is a lot of fun, in my opinion, uh, multiplayer or the single player. The single player is not the greatest the multiplayer and the co-op is really where the game shines, in my opinion. Also, they've added in Ewoks to the game. You actually can play as an Ewok in the game now, which is pretty entertaining. Also, uh, overall, it's just odd to me how well DICE has done with this game, considering how poorly Battlefield Five has been handled. Really considering how poorly Battlefield has been handled over the last several years. As you guys know, uh, Battlefield Three was probably the last really uh, good Battlefield, in my opinion. Battlefield Four had a lot of issues. Battlefield One has had a lot of issues. Battlefield 5 has had a lot of issues, and it seems like the developing team that is working on Battlefront 2 is doing a lot better job than what you're looking at being kind of dealt with with the Battlefield series. So I'm kind of glad that this is being handled well. It's kind of odd at the same time that they're doing and putting more work, and it uh, looks like it's uh, you know kind of showing a lot more for this game compared to the Battlefield series. But guys, if you have not played Battle, uh, Battlefront 2 in a while, you own it, re-download it, try it out if you can find it for cheap. If you've never owned it, now would probably be a great time to try it out because there's a lot of content if you are a new player. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know, if you have you still been playing Battlefront 2? Have you played it in a while? Uh, kind of what's the situation with that? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate on the channel, and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.